Welcome back to another episode of CAD Jungle. Today's exercise, we're going to be modeling this hose fitting. Let's get started. Let's create a new component. Let's just call it holes fitting. Select the front view. Create a sketch on the visible plane. Let's use the circumscribe polygon tool. Select the horizontal vertical constraint, make it horizontal, add dimensions. Select extrude command. Direction is going to be symmetric. Measurement is going to be whole length and add dimensions. Select the front view, create a sketch on the visible face, select the center diameter circle, make sure it touches the edge and it's locked into place. Select extrude command, select the circle, want to extrude it down, distance is going to be all, taper angle is going to be 45 degrees. Operation is going to be set to intersect. We want to mirror this on the opposite side. Select the mirror command. Object type is going to be set to features. Select extrusion we just created. Mirror plane. It's going to be this inside plane here. Left click hold. Select the XZ plane. And it's set. Rotate to the back. Create a sketch on this back face. Select the center diameter circle and add dimensions. Select extrude command. Select the profile we just created. Add dimensions. Select the chamfer command. We're going to chamfer this edge here because we're also going to be adding threads. Add dimensions. We'll make the chamfer two millimeters. And next, let's add the threads. We want them to be modeled. We'll make it full length. And for the threads, we'll let the threads be M27 by two. All right, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna grab this chamfer and slide it ahead of the threads. So now it makes more sense. Because if I didn't and I reverse that, I bring it back, it stops at the chamfer and it doesn't go all the way through. Okay, moving on. Select the home view. Grab the right view, create a sketch on this visible plane here, left click and hold. Select the YZ plane. Select the line command, center line. We're gonna make it 45 millimeters in length. The cool thing about the center line command is it also acts as part of the profile, but the difference is between the construction type and the center line type is this. If I was to make this simply construction, it would not close the profile automatically. Also, when I select the revolve command, if I select center line, it automatically selects the profile and it selects the axis. Completing the profile, select the line command, add a dimension, 
I'm going to select construction. I'm going to drag it over until it touches the edge. I'm going to also create another line parallel as well. I'm going to measure it from this line to this line. Make it about two millimeters, not 12. Select the line command. And grab this edge. Turn off construction. And that edge. I'm going to bring it down. I'm going to connect this, make a triangle here. I want the distance from this point to this point here to be 7.5 millimeters. I'm going to grab this point here and complete the profile and drag it here. And drag this down here. Sketch is closed and fully defined. Select the revolve command. Select the profile and the axis. And the reason it didn't automatically select it is because I had two separate profiles. If it was one profile, it would have automatically selected a profile and the revolution axis point. Operation will be set to join. And I want four more of these. So I'm gonna select, it doesn't matter. You can select the circular pattern command, rectangular pattern command, but also you get to select them here as well. The specific one you want. I'm gonna select the rectangular pattern. Object type is gonna be set to features. I want the revolution I just created. The axis inside of here as you can see it's kind of light i'm going to select this horizontal axis here which is the y-axis the quantity i'm going to set to five spacing i want to be to set 7.5 actually i'll drag it over Quantity is going to be set to five. Now you have five of these. Next, I'm going to grab the extrude command. I'll grab this face inside. Select this face here. Select the whole command. Select this face. Drag it until it snaps into the center. See a little white dot there. It should snap there. Distance is going to be set to all. And the width is going to be 19. Next, I'm going to be using the fillet command. I'm going to be selecting features as well as edges. So, this is how I'm going to do this. I'm going to select this extrusion, this mirror. I'm going to select this rotation here, the pattern. And I'm going to select this extrusion again. And then I'm going to select these two edges here. Make it point 0.1. And it's set. Well, I hope you enjoyed this brief exercise. Stick around and I shall see you in the next video.